The Holocron is a giant encyclopedia, uh, basically, of all the characters and planets and ships and events from the Star Wars uh, expanded universe, from the movies, from the TV show. Anything that has to do with the Star Wars universe uh, goes into this database, and so part of my job is filling the database. So uh, whenever we create new characters or we create uh, new worlds, new aliens, it goes into this database. And then another aspect of my job is to, uh, as we're creating new content, we're making sure that the, that, that new content fits within the existing continuity. So uh, we're checking to make sure that uh, names are spelled right, that uh, we don't ca kill a character more than once, uh, that they have a consistent lightsaber color, that um, uh, if a character gets married, uh, when did they get married, if they have kids, uh, what, what planet they're from, things like that. We try to make everything uh, fit together, uh, whether it's from the movies, from the TV show, from the games, the books, uh, the toys. We try to keep it all one universe. Having a single continuity, uh, the, the, the ramifications uh, of what happens in a certain story have more impact, they're more lasting. So if a character dies, uh, that character is dead. You're not gonna see them come back in, a, in another story. So. Uh, we killed Chewbacca in one of our novels. Well, Chewbacca is not going to appear later in the timeline in a game or a comic. We're not going to bring Mace Windu back. Um, it, I mean, it, we, we find ways to sort of, we kind of did bring the Emperor back and we kind of did bring, bring Boba Fett back, but uh, there's an explanation whenever, whenever something like that, that happens. We retcon something when we need to fix something that didn't fit in the past. Uh, an example would be Boba Fett. Uh, previous uh, books before episode two said that Boba Fett was this, he may have been a former stormtrooper, uh, that he was this, uh, what they call a journeyman protector uh, from this planet called Conquered Dawn, and then episode two comes along and, oh, actually Boba Fett's this clone from Kamino, and he's cloned after this guy named Van Gogh Fett. Rather than uh, completely trashing that the whole backstory that we had for Boba Fett before, uh, we took that, we retconned it, and we applied that backstory to Boba Fett, or to Jango Fett, Boba Fett's dad. We were supposed to know the motivations of the characters better than anyone else. Do, is that character acting like, like they do, like a fan would expect them to? When it's coming to, a, to us for approval, we have the, the ability to make changes to that material. And if it doesn't fit within, within certain standards, and, and if, if things veer off from, from what is expected for a character, yeah, we'll definitely have them change it.